Hey everybody, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a game called The Doge Ship. The Doe Ship is a game published by Geosheeks.it and Rio Grande Games, designed by Marco Canetta and Stefania Nicolini. I may have said those names incorrectly, I do apologize. Plays some amount of players, two to five players in 90 minutes. Effectively what you're doing in this game is, is let's see if it's a theme. You, I've been liking to read the theme. I know you guys care. I don't care, but let's read. The Doge was the chief magistrate and the leader of the Serene Republic of Venice with some uh, Italian words. For over a thousand years, doges of Venice were elected for life by the city-state's aristocracy. In the early years of the 16th century, in order to celebrate the glory of Venice, the doge ordered the construction of a state galley. In this game, each player is a construction chief of one of the most important shipyards of Venice. He works in the doge's service and cooperates with the other players of, on the construction of the doge's new ship. The players try to gain favor and the approval of the doge. The best one will be the winner. So, what all that means is, worker placement game, where everybody's trying to prepare sections of the ship to build it, but we're all working on the ship together. So it's like a timer of the game. We're trying to earn the most money, we're trying to score the most points, and we're trying to get the most approval of the doge as we can. We're also trying to build barriers because sometimes there's some flooding, so we gotta protect ourselves. That's effectively it. So let's just go down to the table, check it out. Come on, play the game! All right, so here's a game of the Doge Ship, all set up for two players. In a two-player game, well, in all-player game, you're going to get $12. You're going to put a token on zero. And each player is going to go in turn order based on a variant which I'm using. We have a barrier, and whoever has the lowest number is first place. So this is going to be a starting ability that we have. But in a two-player game, we're only going to be using this side of the board. And we're going to be building two of each of the three bottom and top sections of the ship. So there will be six on the bottom, six on the top, 12 out of these piles here. All right. And uh, that's basically it. So let's just talk about the game play as we play through it. So this is the setup. You're going to shuffle the, the barriers, the gondolas. You'll have the approval tokens over here and piles of ones and three. The three separate bottom pieces of the dough ship, three separate top sections, the doge tiles, and then when the doge ship is finished, we'll flip over the end and that'll signify the end of the game. All right, so the first thing that happens in a round is the first player, which in this case is blue, rolls these dice. And they are going to go on the appropriate number on the board. Now, what these dice do, they are going to make spaces cost more money. Wherever the die is and below are free to use. So everything in white is free to use. Most of the stuff in green is free to use. Everything after that costs one, Plus, so one, two, three, four. So if I wanted to use this six, it would cost me four coins. We only have 12 coins. So we gotta, you know, keep keep an eye on that. Now, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, another thing that happens, that happens first is we're gonna flip a doge tile. And the doge tiles are gonna show you a couple pieces of information. They're gonna show you the event that's gonna happen at the end of the round. They're gonna show you which parts of the ship will gain doge approval. So in this case, it's the bottom left and the bottom right. And it's going to show you extra bonus points for doge tiles. And we'll talk about that when we get there. So this is the tile that's in effect right now. Now let's go ahead and start. So this is blue's turn. Blue's first. So they have a special power when they build, take the build action. So any space that has the hammer, they will get a bonus ability. And they have, the, this player gets an approval whenever they go get some money. All right. So blue is first. So blue is going to... Okay, let's talk about this event first. This event is going to be a flood. The reason you want barriers, a couple reasons. They're going to give you special abilities when you use them. They're going to determine turn order, whoever has the lowest number. And they're also going to protect you from the flood. Now, if you have the same amount that's on this tile, you're kind of good, but you're going to lose a worker for the end of the round. If you have less than that's on this tile, so if I had two barriers instead of three, I would lose two workers. If I have four barriers and this is a three, nothing's happened. I have successfully defeated the event, done. So that's nasty. So we're gonna need to do something about that. So let's actually go ahead and do something about that now. So blue is going to go here. 
This is an intrigue action. They're going to get a new doge tile. When you take new tiles, you grab two. And you're going to select which one you would like to pick now. Uh, I think, I don't want another flooding. That's a worse one. So I'm going to take the doge. So it's going to become the new tile. So different parts of the ship will gain doge's approval and different points. And that all makes sense when I take another action. All right, so orange. I think they want to get some money, get started off right. So let's just go ahead and do this. They'll get three bucks. And when they take money, they also gain one approval. And these will just go face down. So nobody knows exactly what, how many each player has, because they're in ones and threes. All right, back to blue. Blue would like to get some goods. So they're gonna prep. They're gonna do some building preparation, which is the bag. And what do they wanna prep? I think I wanna prep, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna prep a barrier and a gondola so we'll start with the barrier when you take it you're gonna take three they're gonna have a cost so this one's if I if I decide to do this one I have to pay zero now one now zero now but then they're gonna be new special abilities when I build them so let's see here um, I could get an extra coin for building an extra piece of the dough ship preparation when I build I'm just gonna take this coin one because it's a low number and I'd like to be first player it cost me zero money right now and it just stays over here, money side up, so I know that it's not in effect. When it becomes in effect, I'll take it and I'll flip it. I'll cover up my old power, and I now have this power. So no money now, and these go back out down to the bottom. And then I can also do a gondola. The gondolas are going to be the way that you either get money or favors. So all the three of these will cost a dollar. That'll give me five when I build it, five when I build it five when I build it so I guess I'll take one of these ones that gives me five so I pay a dollar now these go back to the bottom and that was my turn all right back to orange orange is going to they're gonna prep a doe ship because I want to show you how all that works so let's go here when you go here if it has a plus sign you do both if it doesn't you get a pick they're gonna pick the doe ship when you're building the dough ship, you have to start at the bottom left and go right, and you can't build above a section until there's a piece at the bottom. So the first thing they're gonna do is draw three of these tiles, and they're gonna keep one. Now, these are laid out a little funky, but when you prep, prep this, you have to pay the coins now. So whatever one of these I take, I'd have to pay the money. Then I'm, I may get some points at the end of the game, or when I build it, which is in the little trophy here. And then based on the tile that's out, which is this one, I may get some bonus points. So red is negative one blue is two so i think you know these are not really great tiles but i don't really want red so i think i'll take this one because that's going to be it's not going to get extra points but it's not going to be negative points so we'll take that so then i have to pay the four coins put this over here i'll put kind of put it over here so you can see it all the way i'm going to pay the four coins then uh, I can take a build action later to build that and score some more points, but we'll get to that. All right, now Blue's turn. Blue wants to... I want to build both. Where can I go to build both? So I'm going to go here. I'm going to build my barrier and my gondola. So I'll start with the gondola. I flip that. I get five ducats. And then this goes back to the bottom of the stack. And then, oh, and then I'm going to build my barrier, which doesn't cost any money. But now my new ability will be that. But before that, I get to use this ability. So I get to take another um, one of these actions and draw three gondolas and keep one. Three, four, and six. And I think I'm going to take the six because it only costs me a buck now. A ducat now. All right, done. And that was my turn. So I built a barrier and I built a gondola. Well, prepped. I built a barrier, I built a gondola, and then I prepped a gondola based on my last power. All right, now it's Orange's turn. Orange wants to build part of the dough ship, so let's do it. So they're gonna come over here. They'll pay a buck. Can I do it for free? Yeah, we'll go here. We're gonna build part of the dough ship. So I'm gonna build this part. It's gonna give me three points, so I get three points. Then I'm gonna score based on this tile. So I will get zero extra for yellow, and one extra for green, so I'll get one more point. So I built 
built this tile for four points. It comes up here, goes next to this, and now we can start building one on the top. All right, done. Back to blue. Blue is going to, I need to get in the dough ship game. So let's, I'd like to prep something and something else if I could. Prep. All right, it's gonna be expensive, but I'm gonna do one, two, three coins. And I'm gonna prep a gondola. So I'm gonna get three gondolas. They're all zero, so that's a four, that's a four. I'm gonna prep this one, because I wanna get some doge favors. That cost me zero dollars. Ducats. These go back to the bottom. And then I'm going to prep a section of the dough ship. I'm gonna try the top section. And I have these three. So anything but Nate, uh, red. The blue is nice. I'm gonna take this one, it's an extra two. So that cost me $3. These go back to the bottom. And I have now prepped a dough ship piece. And we'll keep that right there. All right, done. Back to orange. They need to do some things. I think they're gonna switch out tiles. So they're gonna come over here and they're gonna switch out tiles. So they're gonna draw new, two new ones. Ooh, these are terrible. All right, so this is a one. They're going to keep that one for sure because this one's gonna hurt them. That one will hurt them less, so they will do that. All right, so now we have a new doge tile. The middle sections here, which we're not able to build yet, will give doge approval. All right, done. Nah, and uh, nope, done. Okay, now it's my turn. I'm gonna build. This is gonna give me a bonus. So let's see if I can go somewhere and build. I wanna do two builds. I wanna build a gondola and a doge, which I can't, it's taken. So I will just build one. We'll build it here. I'm gonna build my doge ship. When I build, I get a coin, so I get a coin. I'm gonna build this doe ship section. So I get three points just because it has three points listed there. And I'm gonna get points based on this. So I'm gonna get two for the yellow and nothing for the blue, so I get two more points. This now comes over here. The doge does, doesn't care about that, this section of the boat, so no approval. And that is it. All right, back to orange for the last turn of the round. And what do they want to do? I think they're just going to take another approval. So they're going to come over here. Oh, no. Yes, that's fine. They're going to take another approval. They get a Doge approval. So now they have two. All right. So now what happens is we're going to resolve the event. So we're going to take the event and we're going to do, we're going to look at it. So this has a flooding of one. I'm going to, you're going to look at your barriers. If you have equal two, you lose a worker for next round. If you have less than that number, you lose two. If you have more than, nothing happens, you're done. So I have more. They have one, which is equal to, so they're gonna lose one worker for the next round. Done, all right, so that's done. Then we'll take all of our workers back. We will look at turn order, which is the lowest number on the barrier tiles. I have five, they have higher than five, so blue is still first. We're gonna roll these dice. So one, two, and five. We're gonna flip a new doge tile, which is this one, it has no number on it, so I'm not exactly sure. I think you just have to have a barrier. Yeah, so a barrier. And we're looking for favor on the top two sections of the doge ship. All right, and then we'll keep playing. So let's talk about the doge event, which is right here. All right, so at the end of the game and in between rounds, the, if the doge is up, he's going to come and inspect. Now, what this means is, Players are going to bl be blind bidding their approval. So um, in between rounds, you're gonna put them in your hand, you're gonna reveal. Whoever bids the most gets six points. Whoever bids second gets three. If you don't bid any, you don't get any points. And then at the end of the game, it's gonna happen again and it will be nine and five in a two player game. So six and three and then at the end, nine and five. 
And so that's just going to be an extra way to score points. And the game is going to keep playing like this until, well, that's the end, until all of these sections have been built. Then you're going to flip over this to know that the game is over. Finish that round. Then the Doge will do its final inspection. Whoever has the most points is the winner. That's how you play the Doge ship. Let's go up the top. See what you think about it. What do you think, son? What do you think? All right, well, that was the Doge ship. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the components. What you saw is what's in this component. It's a lot, in this game. It's a lot of cardboard uh, and chip and and wooden discs. My favorite parts actually are these dice. I like the colors. Six different colors of dice that are going to be the six rows of actions. I like that. Um, so yeah, not great components. But however, these Doge tiles are neat. I thought they were cards when I was watching a run through, but they're actually really nice thick tiles, which I do appreciate. But yeah, the graphic design, there's some misprint stuff. Like, this probably shouldn't look like this. I feel like it could have some more art somewhere. I don't know, it just seems like it was a missed opportunity to make that look cooler, but whatever. It's not a big deal, because it's all about gameplay, right? But yeah, the components are functional, but it isn't. it's not gonna look the best on the table. It looks old, it looks like a crusty Euro, which is where I come in because I love those. And guess what? I like this one. So this is an interesting your um, worker placement Euro game. I love the way that that dice system works. You're gonna roll that dot, the three dice in a two player game or in more dice in a more player game. And it's gonna change the cost of using some actions on the board. If you roll all sixes, great, you can go wherever you want. If you roll all ones, however, it's gonna be really expensive to do a lot of stuff and you may not have a lot of money. So it's gonna limit what you can do in a round. And I think that is genius. Um, some of the actions let you take one of two different options. Some of them will let you do two different things. There's ways you can switch out the doge tiles. There's ways you can get money. There's ways you can work on the galley ship. There's even a space on the board, which I didn't talk about when the ship is getting full and you still want to build some, you can go and destroy a section and rebuild a section of the boat, you know, so that you can keep doing that so you don't lose out on points. Pretty easy game to play, easy game to teach. Uh, the hardest part is maybe the doge approval and the back of those galley tiles are laid out kind of funky because they have coins, maybe an approval and some kind of points, but you have to pay the coins when you take it, you get all the rest of it when you build it. So that's kind of confusing, but either way you learn it. And then the color system, you got a reference to the doge tile. So that's the hardest part of this game to explain everything else. Go to the space, if it has this thing, you can do this, if it has a plush, you can do it all. If it has the treasure chest, it's gonna to relate to money. If it has a little emblem, it's gonna be the intrigue. Pretty pretty basic worker placement, but the dice real the dice system really jazzes that up, and I think that's cool. So I'm gonna give this a BGM except the seal. I'm gonna give this a seven out of ten on BGG, which is a 3.5 out of five wrenches on our arbitrary wrench scale that means absolutely nothing. But we like to give it the games that we enjoy, and that's what I'm gonna do. So that is the dough ship from GeoChic. .it and Rio Grande Games. I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and as always, keep gaming.